There are new developments today regarding the feral cats poisoned in Ithaca's college town. Antifreeze may be the reason the cats are becoming sick and in some cases dying. WNY's Isabel Garcia joins us in the studio with more details about the incident. Isabel. Jen, just last night there were two more cats found dead at the location where the contaminated food was found. This brings the total number of fatalities from death or humane euthanization to seven, and others in the area are still being found sick. We did last night recover two more deceased cats as a result of this, as well as a litter of three kittens who don't seem to be affected. Uh, to, uh, presumably they were nursing from their mother and had not uh, been eating from that food source. In a news release, Cornell Toxicology confirms the substance in the food left for the cats is ethylene glycol or antifreeze. The site where the cats have been poisoned on Linden Ave is a known feral cat colony to the SPCA and many residents in the community. So far, there are no leads as to who might have intentionally placed the food for the feral cats or why. But the SPCA says if someone had an issue, there are other options. Sometimes um, people do perceive a colony like this to be a nuisance. Um, you know, uh, they do rip apart garbage. They, you know, they they are there uh, unwanted in a lot of in a lot of circumstances. Um, but there are ways to manage that without uh, taking such extreme measures like this. The Tompkins County SPCA believes this is an isolated incident and targeted towards the feral cat specifically. However, some concerns still remain. Our biggest concern right now is obviously making sure that there aren't any uh, additional animals affected by this, but certainly if any members of the public have any information on who could have done this or any tips that they might want to uh, provide to us anonymously or publicly, um, we're definitely seeking that information now and, and would appreciate that information. If you have information regarding this incident, the phone number for the SPCA Humane Investigators can be found on our website at WENY.com. Reporting in the studio, Isabel Garcia, WENY News.